team assemble. Well, I'm almost, almost at the point now of finishing one of my friend's websites and getting it to work on all different devices, phones, tablets, Macs, that sort of thing. So let's polish it off. Now, the reason my friend needs this website app built is even before the pandemic, the two neighboring businesses were stealing his business model right down to the logo, the Chinese translation. He was doing all the advertising and flyers. The customers were just coming into the neighboring businesses. I don't need to tell you their religion or possible country of origin. You already know that. But by having his services prepaid and pre-booked, when the customers show up to the insert adjective here neighboring businesses what are they going to do perform those services for free because they've pre-booked ah. this uh, thwarts their criminality or I believe the phrase is cultural enrichment I'm wondering if after driving at home from the garage over the last few days, I've uh, parked a little bit far out from town, but it's a scenic walk down an old canal towpath. Remember how divided and worried we were about whether it would be better for us economically to remain in the EU or reclaim our destiny as an independent nation, choosing our own leaders. Well, that argument is over now, isn't it? Because we've been destroyed by a Chinese-run <coughs> NGO. Just give me two minutes in the same room with Matt Hancock, that globalist quizzling shill. This could all be over in three. Those pinky purple flowers have been around for months. Anyone know what they're called? Has anyone else noticed that on the now empty even main roads. Ambulances are sirening away. Now I thought the purpose of the siren was to warn traffic, but if there's no traffic, what's it for? To create this aura, fear, panic, the illusion of death. You have to admire impressionists like Monet who could capture the shimmering of water with brush strokes. I recently had a good binge watch of one of my subscribers' channels. Uh, and as we walk along this Bristol to Bath cycle path, or as Dina Hawking would call it, psychopath. <laughs> Check out his work, link there and link at the end. If you're into that kind of stuff, he, he shows you how to combat the reptiloid agenda and it is absolute comedy gold. I hope him and Mal can produce some more work.
Too busy. To be fair, if I could do that, I would not be distracted by some ape on his hind legs trying to imitate my language. All these places once employed people, manufactured things. In astronomy, there is this thought experiment which goes, the conditions for life are found around nearly every one of the half trillion stars in our own galaxy. And of the half trillion galaxies in the observable universe, then where is everybody? Why aren't we hearing the radio? Why haven't we been visited? And uh, the corollary to that is, why aren't we out there? And there are suggestions, that there are things called great filters. I mean, they might be things like, you know, stability within the solar system or uh, concentration of phosphorus, stuff like that, but really, it's down to the most sentient species that solar system can produce. And how is it that they somehow destroy their own chances of colonizing the galaxy? And are we in one of those great filters now, where as soon as we have all the technology we can need, a small handful of power-hungry psychopaths seize their opportunity for world government through medical and technocracy surveillance. And the tragedy is we've already passed through all other great filters. Like the leap to multicellularity as we've seen in the Cambrian rocks. The emergence of sentience from the base levels of consciousness and emotion and instinct. The question is, are we going to see clearly the big picture as our enemies have? If you're thinking, oh, it will all get back to normal in October 2021 when they come out with this gene editing mRNA vaccine. No, it won't. It'll go back to normal when we take our society back from these crooks. Destroy the bioweapons labs. Break up all of the monopolies that are working against their home countries. Traitors. Even now, the story has changed from the number of deaths the number of positive tests and then it will change again to oh let's keep this lockdown going because it's good for the environment and if you don't think these globalists can change the goalposts of their plan and fob us off with it remember Iraq we went there after 9-11 wasn't it what were they to do with that and then it was alleged they had weapons of mass destruction and then they weren't there then it was alleged Oh, no, we're supposed to uh, find Saddam Hussein. Then we found him. Then we're still there. Then, we're supposed to bring democracy to the country. And we fell. Now, 18 years later, we're only just getting out. We don't want to be in another one of them. But with us being pushed down and down and down into squalor and poverty, starvation, and isolation. Now I just had a comment from Simon Blake saying Am I still practicing my sun salutation? Well to all you 
yoga Gestapo out there who know me from those days, watch this. Chaturanga Dandasa. There, in your face, Simon Blake. Yeah, but we had all the stress. We did. The leaders of this nonsense must be held accountable in a Nuremberg style trial. And don't think you can just take orders from these people against your moral code. If we've been there, set the precedent. Don't do it. Hmm, even the graffiti is getting more profound. And anyway, of all the things we know, tell me why does the river not flow? I haven't done a proper outro in a while, so uh, bigged up Dean, Dean Ur, Hawkins earlier on, so check him out there. Uh, that's some proper random stuff I've done with animals there, lawfully. Uh, that will be random. Subscribe there. See you in the next one. Be rolled.